Hello, how's everyone doing? Great. Great? Awesome. Nice gear. Okay, my name is Anae. My name is um, And we had a third teammate, Ethan, who's not here for us, um, but he did a lot of our back end work. Um, so, yeah, I'm here to talk about Promise Keeper. I am tired of AI slop. I have seen so much AI slop where people use AI for the sake of using AI. I want to make AI functionally useful. So, what we built is an AI for very busy people, such as directors staff engineers, or even busy YC founders. My cousin's a YC founder, and he forgot me uh, to pick me up from somewhere, so I want to build this for him so he like, doesn't forget me at places. So Promise Keeper is an AI that's actually useful. It's an AI agent that constantly runs in the background that can actually do actions for you. It keeps track of all your commitments that you make on your screen. It's always there looking at your screen, and once Llama supports audio, it's always listening to you as well. Um, so I'm going to give it to Rahul over here, who will show a quick demo of our product. Thanks, Ane. So I have Ane here who's like super busy and uh, he's annoying me with his messages. He's, he's just like sending me messages again and again. And uh, okay, I'll just like take the AI agent take over. So I just replied back to Anay. And what happens in the background is that the AI agent sends all of this context to the Llama model. And what we get back is um, like a promise. So it says that new promise. Can you please take care of sending the calendar invite aid? So just like how you might have used cursor just for, just for like tab completions, what we have here is that as soon as you hit command shift T, it actually does the thing for you. So it opens calendar and it adds a calendar entry for you. So it literally did what you were supposed to do. And um, the best part is that it all runs in the background. We keep on sending screenshots to the Llama agent so that you have the entire context about, about like literally everything. And right now, we've just integrated the calendar uh, MCP integration, but we were also working on the Apple Maps uh, integration and the iMessages uh, Apple Script integration. So everything happens in the background. What happens is that we keep on periodically taking screenshots we send, uh, the Electron app sends this to like a fast API backend, and the fast API backend communicates with uh, the, the Llama model, and it extracts sentiments out of the entire context and tells us what's, what's like a promise and uh, to add it to a calendar or to, like, it, it tells the MCP agent to take a decision. So, yeah, over to you, Anand. So, what's the future? I personally think the future is in memory and continual learning. So. Imagine a future where AI can take hundreds and hundreds of interactions and tools, and it can learn from your repetitive workflows. This has access already to all of your information, so imagine if you just have a locally running model that can have access to your repetitive workflows, and you literally do one tab completion from like, like filling out useless forms, or like doing these like integrations with calendar, maps, like everything. An AI system that's always with you, and you do not have to trust a black box provider because we have access to open source models like Llama. And once Llama integrates audio, we have full multimodal support, an agent that's always there with you, always doing your work, that is actually functionally useful. Um, thank you so much. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. Yep, go ahead. All right, folks. Is, is, is the idea that this will do the, do the task or create a reminder for you to do the task later? Good question. Good question. If the AI can do the task, it'll do it. If it can't do it, then it'll just stay there. Um, we'll work on a better way to show them the UI. But the future is obviously the AI can do everything, right? You can use Llama as an orchestration thing where you can literally give it like 100 freaking tools. And it can like do the tools in order with its like long context window and like orchestration or anything. Or have even sub agents where you have agents for each individual like modality of like different apps like Slack or like Discord or like anything. And screenshots are a great way to do this because it already has like support with everything, right? Like images are a great way to communicate information. This can extend to audio and other things as well, but yeah, it's like the first step of a, a much bigger product. I personally think the future is in sign-in with ChatGPT, but if you don't want to trust OpenAI, you can trust us. Uh, thank you so much. All right, thank you, Tim. Promise keep going.